Hello there, and welcome back to the Endless Mod Pack. So, uh, since the last episode, like I said, I've done a little bit of pad work, so today we can go straight into immersive engineering once again, and hopefully get the extractor up and running. Uh, but before I did do that, uh, I encountered a little bit of a small problem because what I wanted to do was hopefully connect the extractor to an ender chest so then I could get the ender chest directly into the crusher and then all the ores that it collects hopefully would get automatically processed but like I say I encountered a little bit of a small problem because uh, I needed blaze rods now I've got blaze powder but the only way to actually convert blaze powder is by using five of them and getting a blaze rod in a compressor. So that means, or meant, I need to actually make some IC2 machinery to actually get blaze rods. Uh, so I have done a little bit of prep work as per normal uh, and hopefully we've got everything in here so the power that I have got which includes all those windmills the water station the diesel en engine won't work because they all produce RF this and the compressor need uh, EU well actually the generator should actually output EU so this is the generator if you don't know anything about IC2 so you need a RE battery, iron plates, and an iron furnace to create the generator. Uh, suitable power here. We've got plenty of power, just can't use it. Uh, to make the RE battery, you need insulated tin cables. Yeah, I'll, I'm not going to go through all of that, to be quite honest, because I like IC2, but I prefer mechanism. Uh, so to make the compressor, we need a basic machine casing, normal stone, and an electronic circuit. Uh, epic squeeze yeah whatever uh, I wasn't really gonna get into this mod but we're being on peaceful and unless I actually put the peaceful table into the nether uh, I don't think there's any other way of getting it so I cleared out a little bit of a small space uh, like I said this compressor won't work with all my other power supply because it's just not compatible and I don't know if there's anything in this particular mod pack that will allow it to actually run now I'm just gonna test and see if I can actually use coal coke in this machine I can excellent so that should get some power as you can see there with the uh, little lightning rod and then this can fill up as well so hopefully we should be able to make a blaze rod so I need uh, eight of these guys so let's hope I don't think I've actually got enough to make the full eight so I might need to use the compressor uh, sorry the condenser to actually make a couple more which hopefully won't take too long uh, so yeah, while that is doing that, let's see if we can't actually make, in fact, let me just do this instead, one second, uh, let me just grab that, so we've got this first blaze rod, and we'll put that in there, which is going to be cool, we can put them away, and we'll put that into the nether chest. Oh yes, I also made this uh, wooden storage crate from Immersive Engineering, which is the same recipe as a chest, it's just using the treated wood. Uh, and it's uh, fairly cool, you can obviously put it at top, and it's the same size as a standard chest, you can't double them up or anything like this, which is a bit of a shame. Uh, but still, it's got plenty of room in there, or you know like starter ones if you're just going straight directly into uh, immersive engineering uh, so yeah all my immersive engineering stuff is now in there which is all cool and it looks like they're all finished awesome 
So, um, right, while that's creating a few morphers, let's actually go and see if we can make this uh, extractor mining quarry device thing. Uh, so, yeah, what I've actually done is actually set up the diesel generator. I thought that was a normal witch then. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was like, what? <laughs> oh dear. Anyway, um, so I've connected a H, a HV wire, uh, which is uh, HV wiring, which is two aluminium, uh, two steel, and a stick. And they can make them as such for the wire. And the HV wire connector is aluminium in the center and hardened clay which isn't too bad you can get four per so not too bad of a trade-off to my mind uh, but to you can't connect them the same as these these medium wire ones uh, directly to one another you've got to create these weird things called HG wire relays so why you've got to make these I don't know but these guys are iron and this thing called insulated glass or uh, insulating glass and that's green dye, iron dust and glass I, again I don't really understand the need for this but you do get 8 per so again it's a decent trade off uh, and these things look a bit weird to me I don't know, it might just be me, other people might like them um, but you've got to connect them upside down on a block, you can't connect them any other way and this is the only way that you can transfer high voltage power from one place to another. As you can see, I've uh, done a little bit of work here. Because um, I don't really know how destructive this uh, thing will be. Uh, so I'm going to set it up all the way over here. And up on this one, I've got a HV capacitor. Uh, which is full of power and there's another wire connector there so that's how I've got the power all the way over here uh, the HV capacitor is a block of lead three steel, two aluminium, two treated wood and a block of redstone so easy enough to make once you've got the resources in uh, so yeah everything should be ready to go for us here so obviously I've got my book and my hammer and we're going to concentrate on one bit at a time because this is two uh, multi blocks in one. So the extractor, see, this is the number one. Let me just do that for you. And then the second part is this, uh, whatever you want to call this thing, I don't know what you want to call it, and this is how it's supposed to look all together. Uh, so, yeah, this is going to be the biggest one that I've made, so you're going to have to bear with me. Uh, chances are I may do a little bit of a speed up while I try to concentrate on how to build this thing. Because uh, as per normal, I'm going in blind, so uh, that's half the fun, isn't it? So I want this machine to be facing that direction, I think. <laughs> so I might need to do a little bit of cleaning out here. So, uh, yeah, let's get this thing
So, um, I'm hoping I've constructed this correctly. If not, then uh, we'll all have a big laugh. Uh, so let's just right click on there, right click on on this, do I need to, problem is as you probably saw, um, I don't know if I need to dig any more of this out, uh, I might need to try to reconstruct this bit, I don't know if I've done something wrong or it doesn't like the dirt underneath it or something. Um, let's try that again. No, the actual extractor, but the wheel thing doesn't like me. Uh, let's reconstruct this thing. Sorry about this. No. Aha! Ha 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 ha! Ha ha ha! Yes, okay, so I did do something wrong last time. I think I did that. Right then, let's have a look at this. Um, that looks like the power port. That looks like it could be the export sort of thing. So, let's try and. I know we haven't got his ender chest or anything up and running, but let's just for the sake of trying. Right, let's not do that. Let's. Hmm. Would they actually work on that? No, they won't. Okay, big surprise. Okay, so we'll put a chest on there for now. Uh, then I just need to grab some power thing. So let me just set this to a output. Let's get rid of that top one. Let's grab some power things. Uh, and see if this wants to work. Oops, where am I going? Haha. <laughs> so I've got all excited now. I've actually got, got it up and running. So let's go into this chest, uh, H, wire relay, and the wire coil. Uh, let me just dump some of this stuff in here that I don't want. Uh, my gosh, fine. Okay. Alright, cool. Um, so that goes on to this. So now, this is might be a bit of a problem. Because, uh, like I said earlier, you can't connect that. Yeah, okay. Oh, it has actually done it. Haha, <laughs> cool. Um. Does it need a, a redstone signal to work? Nothing appears to be happening. Uh, let's have a read. Does it actually tell me anything? This structure is comprised of two pieces. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is an uh, output. The energy output for the engine is on the side. The energy input for the engine is on the side. Really? Really? Okay. Back features a redstone control panel and an act. Okay, so the power does not go there. That's an output redstone signal thing. Okay, so where does the power go then? Does the power go in there? No. 
The energy input for the engine is on the side. Okay. I'm going to figure this out. I'm wondering if it's these three. Might have to construct an ugly thing at the moment uh, just to see if this will work. From there to there, obstruction, don't lie to me. Thank you. He likes lying sometimes. Aha, ha, 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 ha. We have. Movement. So there are your power things. Now, does it need all three to be more efficient? I don't know. But we can do that just for the sake of looks, I suppose. Oh, cool. Look at that. <laughs> Oh, th that's pretty damn cool. Um, okay, it seems to have stopped digging now. Which is... We've got grass and dirt. Okay. Do you actually dig any more, though? That's the question. Hmm. Yeah, okay, I'm going to have to end this episode here and do a little bit more research on this thing and see why this thing's decided to stop digging. Yep, so anyway, I hope that you've enjoyed today's episode. Thank you very much for joining me. If you do have any suggestions or have any other knowledge about these, this thing, then feel free to add it into the comments section. But like I said, otherwise, thank you very much for joining me. And I will see you next time. Bye.